Hello and welcome to Verbal to Visual. I'm Doug Neal and today I'd like to share what might be controversial advice and that is don't get good at drawing. My work involves sketching out ideas. That's what I like to do when I'm reading books, listening to podcasts, having interesting conversations with others, or even just thinking through a problem on my own. I find it very helpful to create some external representations of those ideas that include words and phrases, but also drawings and diagrams. That is also something that I teach. So it might seem a little bit counterintuitive that I'm giving this particular advice. So I would like to explain what I mean here, starting with a diagram. Let's think of drawing as, oh, going along the spectrum from bad to great with good somewhere in the middle here. So this represents your drawing skills, let's say. Where would you put yourself? Are you a bad drawer? Are you a good drawer? Are you a great drawer? A trap that is easy to fall into as you get into this field of sketchnoting, graphic recording, visual note taking, is worrying about being within this range. Wanting to get good at drawing, maybe even caring a lot about getting great at drawing. I don't think you need to. I don't think you need to be on this half of this spectrum here. I think hanging out right about here will serve your needs just fine. I even think there are benefits to hanging out here and not trying to get anywhere else. So let's label this as a place of importance, as a location icon here, and let's call it mediocre. You can successfully, usefully sketch out ideas as a mediocre drawer. Let's define a little bit what I mean by mediocre as opposed to good or great. When it comes to visual note taking, sketching out ideas, I often encourage you to build your visual vocabulary. Yes, develop your drawing skills, but starting just with simple icons that look something like this. If you want to draw a book, imagine it being on a shelf and draw it like that. If you want to draw a marker, draw it maybe like this. And call it good. If you want to draw someone running, maybe draw it like this. Maybe this guy's sweating a little bit. Maybe he's going fast, so you add in some motion lines. These aren't particularly good drawings, but they're an effective form of communication. They are recognizable objects. And that's the only thing that matters most of the time when you're sketching out ideas. The bare minimum is that they be recognizable to you. That's all that matters if your notes are just for yourself. And even if they're for other people, they don't need to be particularly illustrative. They just need to be recognizable and help the viewer put themselves into the situation that you're depicting or the visual metaphor that you want them to think about. And here's why I think this part of this spectrum can be a little bit of a dangerous place. It's a little bit too easy to care about the wrong thing. When you shoot for a drawing that's great, when you care really about how the drawing looks, you're taking your mind away from the impact of what you're actually sketching out. You're not thinking about the problem that you're trying to solve, the idea that you're learning and want to remember, or the specifics of what you want to share with the person that you're chatting with. So you care about aesthetics more than you care about impact. With all of that said, if you want to get good at drawing, get good at drawing. If you're already good at drawing, continue drawing well within your notes. There's nothing wrong with that. And maybe for some projects, a more illustrative approach will suit your needs, will lead to higher impact. 
So of course, use your discretion here and don't let my advice stop you from pursuing something that you're interested in. The main thing that I want you to watch out for is if your desire to draw well is keeping you from drawing freely, that's when this becomes a problem. That's when you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot right at the get-go. Writing and drawing freely as you're sketching ideas out is much more important than writing and drawing well. So don't get good at drawing, get mediocre at drawing, and then just focus on the interesting ideas that you're working with. If you would like some support getting to that place of mediocrity, come check us out at verbaltovisual.com. That's where I teach this skill. That's where you can connect with other folks from around the globe who are pursuing their own interests while they develop the skill of sketching out ideas. Some of them are good drawers, some of them aren't. Some of them are mediocre drawers, but probably really good sketch noters and are a little bit scared to share their work because they see the people who are good at drawing, sharing work over the web and even within verbal to visual. And that makes them a little bit anxious about putting their work out there. I'm gonna give you a gentle nudge and say that that might be holding you back. And even more so that might be holding us back because we don't get to see your interesting work. You don't get to inspire the other mediocre drawers out there to put their stuff out. So there's my gentle encouragement for members of Verbal to Visual as well as any other folks that are putting their visual work out in the world. Don't be afraid to share it even if you think your drawings aren't that good because they don't need to be. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.